mateys, I have a treasure to share with you today. And call me a fool if this version of this uh, CJRB Pyrite isn't gold. Yes, the Pyrite with the Warney blade, the Warn Cliff blade, as a button lock with thumb hole opening. How sweet of a knife could you get for EDC than this one right here? Uh, if you don't know what pyrite is, <laughs> pyrite is also known as fool's gold. So uh, that's the uh, the pun implied here, fully implied pun. Uh, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so yes, this is the CJRB pyrite with the Warren Cliff blade stainless steel uh, handle that is also um, given that kind of a polished stone wash finish so all together uh, looking slick as all get out um, use for most people unless you got really fat fingers it's that's a usable forward choil uh, just be careful uh, if anything I kind of sort of wish it was just a little bit more and I mean I'm fine with with a Warren Cliff blade shape with this blade shape that's the chunk that you're gonna be using that's what's going into your material like the vast majority of the time so if they wanted to make this cho forward choil just a little bit more just another centimeter you know a couple millimeters um, that would have been totally fine and given more people with more hand sizes, a little bit more of a usable forward choil. Um, just, just thoughts on that. Um, otherwise, all the fit and form and function of it is fantastic. Uh, you got a little bit of jimping, not a lot. Doesn't go out all that far. They could have done done more. They could have seriously. I would have been happy if they went all the way to the end of where the uh, the the whole cutout is right there. They could have done another three or four uh, jimps. Uh, some I'm hearing people are getting a little bit of lock stick. Uh, very few are uh, not able to get it to go away after a handful of days. Um, that's kind of just the nature of uh, full production runs of uh, not super expensive knives. So uh, it is what it is, right? Um, this one actually is, is pretty darn good. Uh, I'm feeling just a hair bit of button lock stick. And it's not bothering me really because, I mean, I've only had it for a day. Only uh, been flipping it for just a little bit. So maybe it'll go away. Maybe I might have to uh, take it apart and do a little bit of polishing, smoothing uh, things out uh, to, to make it totally disappear. Who knows? Um, I'm just going to roll with it. It's really not bothering me. Uh, deep carry clip, uh, no backspacer, you got uh, standoffs there. Uh, AP, APR or AR RPM 9, whatever their proprietary powdered steel is, is great steel. Love that steel. Um, can't say enough good things about that steel. Uh, I don't mind, again, that it's stainless steel. Uh, one thing that my son, my oldest son, pointed out is, is what you know, with the whole you know, fool's gold, uh, pyrite naming of it, how sweet would it have been to accent the knife by making the hardware and maybe even the button lock, uh, spin dial here, um, a uh, a gold color if if they anodized it gold, um, even the pocket clip, you know, just done. Uh, a little bit of a light gold uh, color to it. How sweet would that have been to give it those little accents? So if anybody's up into the anodization uh, <clears throat> hobby for these folders, uh, that would be a sweet idea if y'all, anybody who does that wants to do that, um, anodize the hardware and the button lock uh, and the clip so to to a gold that would be pretty sweet right yeah maybe what do y'all think uh, let's do 
let's get my little treasure chest here out of the way. Did y'all like that? Fun little intro. All right, so for some size comparison, we have the full size uh, CGRB uh, Feldspar. Um, and then we have the Benchmade Bug Out. Now, uh, and no, nobody has ever, you know, harped on the blade shape chosen for the bug out. That drop point is a great uh, drop point. is a great EDC blade shape. It's a fantastic blade, um, super useful. But uh, would anybody have loved to have seen a Warren Cliff shaped blade? This blade on this knife. Just, just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Let me know what you think in the comments. If uh, if you would have loved to seen this blade on on this knife on the Benchmade Bug Out, would it have made the Bug Out all that much bigger of a hit? Cause it's kind of the hype on the Bug Out's really like it was there and then it was gone. Like nobody re really stuck too terribly long with the fan base of the Bug Out. I mean, there's still plenty of people who absolutely love. The bug out in, in all of its glory, but you know, has it lost it? It quickly lost its hype. Uh, I would say um, faster than we kind of, I at least expected. But uh, yeah, so is the pyrite warning Warren Cliff blade gonna die off in its hype just as quickly as the bug out did? Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, let's see. It is a fairly lightweight knife, and one thing I wanted to point out, if you uh, didn't know, let's let's see if I can get show this. Look at that crazy milling job that they did. That is pretty slick. Both sides, both sides have that milling job. Isn't that wicked? That is some crazy milling. And it weighs just a little more than three ounces, so it's not, you know, even though it's stainless steel, it's it's not a heavy knife. It's great for EDC, great size. As long as you can carry a blade that's three inches, it's just a hair over three inches, like three point one one or something like that. Um, yeah, that might be an issue for some. Uh, I can foresee that, uh, but otherwise, whew. and this this is this is a sweet knife. Um, <laughs> it's also funny because I swore I was done with button locks, like after, uh, the handful that I have, I probably have about five or six button lock, uh, knives, and I was just like, you know what, I'm kind of over the button lock hype, the craze, um, even though it's a lock me mechanism that is going to be around and popular for quite some time, it's never going to go away completely. Uh, it is, you know, been proven as a very fidgety, friendly, and effective lock mechanism. Although some companies have had some issues with certain knives in the past, um, I think uh, for the most part everybody's got it dialed down. It's not the strongest lock by all means, um, but it works. It works uh, for what you know the knives that have them are purposed for not you know going to town on a tree but <laughs> more like cutting open boxes and packages and and you know string and rope and whatnot um it's it's just fine of a lock for for these folders for those purposes uh so yeah I have another button lock, and it might be one of my favorites now. Uh, let's see how the uh, next week or so pans out in carrying him a little bit. Uh, if this ends up being my favorite button lock. <laughs> so, that's the CJRB uh, Pyrite with the Warncliff blade shape. God, I love this Warncliffe blade shape. It is totally up my alley, and for the price point of being right around $50, I had to get it. So, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, just another pyrite video. Like, there aren't enough of them out there on YouTube. But, uh, if you watch this whole thing, I really appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, for step, stepping in here and uh, uh, choosing my video out of the hundreds of them that are out there. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace out.